guest Claire Craters with me today. She is the president of GH Craters Popped Corn. So we're going to learn a little bit about the history. We're going to learn a little bit about their new flavor and all the different things that are going on at GH Craters. So Claire, if you'll just introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, I'm Claire Craters. Uh, we uh, have a, a long, long standing history in popcorn in our family. Um, maybe I'll just start in with some history if you, yeah. if you want me to start there. So uh, in 1885, my great 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 grandfather actually invented the popcorn machine uh, and really paved the way for the commercialization of popcorn. He, he was actually had a, a little candy store and he bought a peanut roaster and he wanted to sell some peanuts out of his store and, and he bought this thing. It didn't work very well so he re, sort of re-engineered this little piece of equipment and in the process decided it'd be a great idea to, to actually pop corn uh, in, in this uh, sort of contraption that he had created. Uh, and at the time, popcorn had only been popped, you know, over an open flame, uh, over your stove, and you get very sort of inconsistent kernels. So this was pretty monumental uh, at the time. And he, I don't know if you're familiar with the Chicago Columbian Exposition, uh, but it was also known as the World's Fair in 1893, and it was here in Chicago. Uh, and he brought this uh, sort of modern machine to, to this fair along with, Mr. Ferris, who was showing his Ferris wheel, the Wrigley family was there with their gums. So There's a, a lot of very new things coming out, and the popcorn machine was one of them. So, so that's sort of the beginning of, of popcorn. Uh, and as you know, you know, the movie theaters then became very popular. So people were renting his machines and sitting outside the theaters. And of course, as time went on, uh, popcorn moved into the theater, obviously, where it is, is today. And um, so we've been doing this a very long time, over 125 years in my family. And, and recently we decided, let's put our name on, on some popcorn. So, so we came up with this brand, the GH Creators Popcorn brand, to, to kind of showcase some of the formulas that we've been working on uh, for, for many, many years. So what's your favorite part of being in the business? Well, it's a family business still today. I work with my mom, uh, who's uh, no stranger to the business world, so I've learned a lot from her. She actually started a company called The Popcorn Factory uh, a long time ago, a mail order business, and so I've learned a lot from her. My husband works with me. We met at a trade show in the snack fun snack world, <laughs> so he's our vice president of sales, my sister works here, uh, my brother-in-law, so it's really a family family affair, um, which people always say, are you, you know, really, can you really do that, like, <laughs> how, how does that really work, but it, but it does, so that's pretty special, not everybody gets to do that in their professional life, uh, so that's really fun, and of course, creating and and um, coming up with new flavors and seeing what the consumers like and don't like is, is, is just really rewarding. So what have you learned over the years? I've learned a lot about popcorn, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably more than I ever thought and I was sort of born into popcorn so uh, it's very familiar to me. Uh, but certainly with this brand and with the, the business that we're we're building here. I've learned a lot about um, about running a company. I mean, that it's pretty exciting to to grow a business. And uh, my biggest teacher is for sure my mom. And we have a great staff and people who are really care about what we're doing. They see what we're doing with the brand in terms of committing to genetic, you know, non genetically modified ingredients and natural and uh, we really really care about our customer. So so. That's been a, a good a learning experience for everybody, not just me. So, what inspired the name GH Creators? Obviously, we know where Creators came from. GH is actually my father. So, there's a sort of strange thing in the Creators family where all the men go by, you know, sort of identified by their first initial. So, my great 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 grandfather was C Creators, my grandfather was HD, uh, and my father is GH for George Henry. Uh, so in his uh, memory, we lost him about 11 years ago. We we decided to to put this on the bag, and he would just get a 
giant kick out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a we have a um, Henry in our family. My yeah. little six year old is Thomas Henry. Well, you know, does he go by Henry? He doesn't. He actually goes by Tank, like Thomas. Oh, the tank. Oh, that's right. I read that on your. That's great. I love that. Well, it, my dad actually went by Henry because uh, actually his mother's name was Georgia, so there was a bit of a confusion between Georgia and Georgia. Anyway, Ooh. it's a great name. <laughs> So, how does GH Creators keep to tradition when it comes to the snacks you make? Sure. So, traditionally, a lot of times when you buy caramel corn today at the grocery store or anywhere, it's uh, it's processed in a pretty large commercial operation. So, you know, usually stainless steel is involved, and and there's not a lot of actual culinary touches to that product. We, although we produce on a pretty large commercial scale, we have stayed true to the the copper kettle um, process. So we have lots and lots of copper kettles back in our plant, and they make this. They make we make our caramel corn in batches. So real butter, real sugars, brown sugar, uh, really real true ingredients mixed by hand in copper kettles, then poured onto onto the popcorn mixed so you'll notice when you eat our popcorn the caramel and the the kernel is fully coated so you don't have any sort of white on the kernels it's fully coated and, and that's something you can only get by really sort of an artisanal approach to making a caramel. <laughs> having a little morning snack <laughs> so, yeah I wanted to see if I could maybe even show this on camera so I have a kernel let's see can you guys see that uh-huh you pick a good one? Yeah. I don't know. I just reached in and grabbed. I didn't look for a special one. <laughs> so, I'm gonna eat it. so we we do that in copper kettles, and of course the kernels what, that we use are a, a special hybrid of popcorn to get that big, beautiful, fluffy kernel. So you're not going to get you know the crumbs on the bottom of the bag like you do with a lot of other products. We're really paying attention to every little piece. But the key to what we're doing is making it in copper kettles. It, I don't know if you watch cooking shows and things like that, and you see a lot of chefs cooking in copper pans. It's because you do there's a sort of a chemical reaction between sugars and fats when you cook in in copper that actually enhances the flavor. So as opposed to cooking in stainless steel. Um, or something else, and a stainless steel would be the other option. Uh, you just don't get that same richness of the, the, the natural sweetness and richness of the flavors. So we, uh, although not very, very efficient, we really feel that it's quality and um, flavor and taste are the most important things. So we have maintained that, that piece of our process. That, that's actually very, very interesting information right there. So. So, you know, when we think popcorn, we think, you know, we're blowing our diet or we're just crazy people eating all this junk food. So tell us about the healthy twist that you put on your products. Sure. Well, popcorn in general, I think uh, people should know, is really one of the only natural whole grain snacks you can eat. I mean, there's nothing real processed about popcorn. It's it's a whole grain when we get it and we pop it and uh, the nutrients actually come from the hull, you know, that sort of brownness on the, on the, on the popcorn after it's popped. So, so naturally popcorn is uh, a whole grain, which is certainly even as women is important for heart healthy um, issues and things like that. Uh, but what we also do it is uh, eliminate all artificial colors and flavors, which are very, very common in caramel corn in particular. People often boost with caramel flavors and certainly caramel colors uh, to get that perception. Uh, we've eliminated all those things and gotten that simply through this natural process that we're producing in. Uh, so we also uh, make sure that all of our ingredients are non-genetically modified as that's becoming much more popular and, and uh, people are sort of recognizing the issues behind that. Uh, so we strive to make sure our vendors, for example, and you know, our butter and all that are uh, from non-genetically modified sources. So enjoy it love it <laughs> when you're eating it you can feel you know you can feel good about it it's it's still a, a treat you know it's a snack but uh, it's I, I certainly think it's worth it 
<laughs> I guess that's a good thing, right? You wouldn't be in this business if you didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I might be 10 pounds lighter, but... <laughs> so, um, so what tips can you give us for reading ingredient labels? If it's, uh, it looks like a novel on the back of the bag, you know, that's something you shouldn't do. If you read through those ingredients, you can see you know what all those things are, right? Brown sugar, butter, it's, it's the, right. We're not talking um, huge, huge yeah. panels. That's the biggest thing. I, I always just, and our kettle corn is even shorter. We have three ingredients in our kettle corn. So, and that's really... Uh, it's important to us when we're developing a product to make sure that there's nothing in there that doesn't need to be in there um, because I don't want to read through a label just like you don't. Yep, so there you go. Yeah, and you can pronounce all the ingredients. Yeah, and there, there's something you, there, there are things you can go buy at the store. They're not things that are, you know, commercially manufactured. Those are all ingredients that you can go buy yourself. So what are the GH Creators popcorn um, corn flavors? Well, our what we call our hero is our Chicago mix, which is our cheese corn and caramel corn mixed together in the same bag. And you're, where are you? Are you in Georgia, Kelly? I'm in Alabama. You're in Alabama, sorry. So uh, a lot of people outside of Chicago aren't always familiar with the flavor and sometimes you know, sort of grimace at the idea of cheese and caramel mixed together. Mm, uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> that's good. So <laughs> we were always worried about you know getting it in people's mouths but once you put it in, in your mouth I think that sweet and salty combination is um, really really refreshing and satisfying for snackers. So that seems to be the, the most popular flavor for us is the, the Chicago mix. Uh, after we launched that, we got a lot of people saying, well, my husband likes the cheese and I like the caramel. So I just want a bag of the caramel. So we decided to separate that Chicago mix to just the caramel, as you can see, and are just the cheese corn. Uh, we also have our kettle corn, which is just uh, as I mentioned, three ingredients. It's um, popcorn oil and salt, sunflower oil and salt, sea salt. Uh, and that's just sort of an old-fashioned tradition which fit really well in, in sort of what we were doing with the brand. And then we had to add a little bit of an indulgent flavor because I love nuts. So we added our caramel nut crunch, which is uh, has almonds and cashews along with our signature caramel corn and there is one tiny secret ingredient in that bag to add a little bit of even more richness to it and that that bag is certainly uh, a real treat. So those are the flavors for now. We're always thinking about new ones and what the next the next item will be um, but for now for now uh, those those seem to be standing standing strong. So, I want chocolate. Ah, so we do occasionally. We didn't do it. Won't be for this holiday. But I will remind. I remember to send you an email when we come out with it for next holiday. Um, we do do a lot of chocolate. We do um, here at Cornfields. We do some other products as well under other people's brands. But uh, for GH Creed. There's we okay. Well, so what? What do you want? You want some chocolate on the caramel corn? You want it over the nuts? You want it drizzled, or do you want it fully enrobed? Oh gosh, it's all of the above. In chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and there's a lot of options here. Um, I like milk personally. Okay. And I like peanuts. Okay. Okay, peanuts. Peanuts are are strong, you know, so when you put a peanut in something, the whole thing tastes like peanuts, but peanuts are, peanuts, <laughs> peanuts work. Um, okay, so we'll have to think you'll about have to, You'll have to name it Kelly's Mix. Okay, I like it. I like it already. <laughs> so what's your favorite flavor? I'm a Chicago Mix fan, and honestly, to this day, you know, we're making, we're out there producing right now in the back and they'll bring me bags I like to see what's coming off the line and I swear every time they bring it in I just my stuff is so good and I'm very critical as you can imagine so if something's off or I don't like something I tend to be pretty critical about it but that product I'm I don't know I think it's great I don't know if I'm biased or not but 
That's my favorite. <laughs> So I haven't opened mine yet because I got a bunch of empty bags sitting up here behind me while I did my interview. <laughs> so I will open it. <laughs> that would be so bad. That's so funny. You have so to I'll open it, and when I do my post, I'll definitely give you my opinion on oh, that. Oh, good, good. So where, where can my readers purchase GH Creators? Well, uh, you can go on our store locator on our website. Is always a good way to start to find something in your location there in your area. So we're at most um, retailers, uh, natural and specialty retailers as well, and we also are at uh, Costco and Sam's Club in various regions. So those are great places. You can always find us on Amazon. Uh, you can buy full cases off Amazon, and you can buy product off of uh, our website as well. And, and we have a, that sampler is available off our website, I think, that Kelly has behind her. Yep. Uh, so give be a little taste of all five, uh, but if you're willing to dive into a full case of 12, which I guarantee you will not last very long, uh, you can buy those on our site or on Amazon. And that's www.ghcreators.com. It's that's it. in the bottom of her lower third right there, and it'll be on the site, Three Boys and a Dog. And da -da -da -da, the exciting news, we're going to be giving away one of these variety packs on the site, threeboysandadog.com. So be sure and click over there and, and see if you can try to win your, your own sample pack right there. So is there anything that you would like to tell us before we end our interview? No, I just I'd encourage everybody to give it a try. And uh, if you do, we love feedback. So send us an email. Go on our Facebook page. You can kind of keep up with what we're doing. We do a lot of, um, you know, promoting on, on our Facebook page. Uh, sort of lets you know maybe if we're, open, you know, entering into a new store or, or things like that. And, and our, our, um, our Facebook fans are really active and we're really, really appreciative of, of all the communication that we have with them. It makes us better. So, so do that. And um, Enjoy the summer and eat popcorn. It's a great time for popcorn. Well, I look forward to uh, Kelly's mix. This. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, that. we'll have to send you the the prototype first, so <laughs> we'll do that. Thank you so much, Claire. Thanks, Thanks Kelly. for being Happy here. Mother's Day to you too. Thank you too.